Are you putting on a sports event and want to do the timing on your own? Race Result has the complete solution for you. And it's easy to handle, even if you've never timed a race before. Rental timing systems, understandable timing software, personalized race bibs. In this video, we will guide you through all the important steps to make your first timing project a winning experience. As a first step, go to raceresult.com and create a new customer account. Before and after the event, you can work on most of your tasks online. There are different options for timing hardware according to the types of event you are going to time. The first decision to make is whether to use passive or active timing technology. Our website provides a good overview here. If you need further advice, then email us at info at and our team will be happy to assist. Now it's time to order your rental equipment. Go to the Race Result online shop. Let's assume you are planning a 5k run and want to use the passive system with our patented foldable ground antenna. Now select the rental start date and duration. Although we can handle short term reservations, you should place the order more than one month before the event to ensure availability and avoid additional costs. After completing your order, you will receive a rental contract via email. Please sign it and send it back to us via email. Note that we don't send equipment before receiving the signed contract. In your customer account, you can now buy credits. They are required if you use our platform my.resresult.com for online registration, results and certificates, or if you want to work online. Working online means you intend to use the online version of our software ResResult 12. For each participant in your event, a single credit includes all those services. ResResult 12 software is where you manage registration, participant data, results lists and the timing itself. Start the software online in your account and create a new event. Our 5k run has start and finish at the same place, so we choose the standard event template. Before we start the online registration, we'll do some basic setup. First, start with the event name itself, and whilst here, it makes sense to configure the date, time zone and country you are in. We have two contests pre-configured, a 5k and a half marathon. To keep it simple, let's delete half marathon. Now you should go through the pages step by step. Most of the settings are pre-configured or self-explanatory. If you need more information, this icon links to the knowledge base, which explains the functions in greater detail. Time to set up the online registration. Activate the required registration forms and adapt the form itself where you define which data you collect from participants. If necessary, create additional registration forms for different contests or purposes, such as an on-site registration. The knowledge base again provides further explanations. If you want Race Result to handle the online payment for you, you can set this up for each form. You'll require a separate contract for that, which can be found on our website. Now you can publish the event. First, accept the terms and conditions. Secondly, define the time frame for the online registration and lastly, activate it. At the very bottom, you will now find a link to preview and test the registration. If everything is set up and tested, you go back to main window basic settings and set the event to real event. Now wait for the first people to sign up and make sure you always have enough credits in your account. Several weeks before the event, you should start thinking about the timing setup, which may take some time to learn and understand. In the splits page, you tell the software in which order athletes will cross which timing point and a minimum and maximum pace, speed or time. You can test your setup using the race simulation which will generate random times which correlate to your split setup. You can now view the results of this simulation in the output tab and you'll find the most important lists, such as final results, already set up for you. If the knowledge base doesn't provide an answer to a specific question you have, contact us at support at raceresult.com. As soon as registration is closed, around two weeks before the event, it's time for the BIP order. Order your BIPs with integrated timing transponders. To ensure you have appropriate backups in place, you should either order a second timing system or BIPs with two transponders attached. The dual BIP is the favorable choice for events up to 1500 participants. You can configure the BIP directly in the shop. Let our team know how you'd like them to look in the remarks section. Logos can also be uploaded here. You should also consider ordering spare bibs for race day signups. 
Race result will then create a layout for you and send you a preview for approval. During the order process, you can choose from different options for the delivery date of your bibs. Please make sure the layout is approved one week before the latest possible arrival of the parcel. The shop FAQs on our website provide further information on the order process. If you want to have personalized bibs, you can embed the participants data directly from your event file in ResResult 12. Please note, your bibs won't be printed before you clicked the Approve Layout button on the preview page. You will usually receive your timing hardware a few days before the actual rental period, enough time to get familiar with it. Download the ResResult 12 software to your computer and install it. You can now download a copy of your event from our service and play around with it. To understand how the system works, you can find the getting started guides for the race result system in our knowledge base. Setting up the passive ground antenna is simple. Unfold it, make sure it's laid out flat, connect all antenna cables to the decoder before turning it on, no matter in which order. If you don't need all elements, just put them to the side of the road like this and don't connect those antennas to the decoder. The cables are numbered with one being the shortest cable. One of the most important steps is to get the timing system connected to the software. This works best via Ethernet connection between decoder and laptop. You probably need to change the IP configuration in the decoder menu and maybe also on your computer. There's a knowledge base article which covers the basics of networking for this step. You should also make sure your decoder is set to GPS time if a participant does not wear his bib correctly, you and your volunteers will easier figure out his actual finish time. Again, check the knowledge base to find out more about decoder time setup. If the decoder is listed in the ResResult 12 chip timing window, then hit play and you're all set to go. Time to test everything. Press start on your decoder, grab some bibs and check if detections are coming in. If yes, you are set for race day. You could also use the decoder's built-in modem to upload timing data remotely, for example if the decoder is too far away for an Ethernet connection. But be aware, you'll need a separate SIM card for this. If you want to publish live results during the event, make sure to have an internet connection available on the timing laptop on race day. Finally, your big day has come. Time to get everything set up for the race. First, you need to check out the event. This means you download the file to your local computer, including all participant data. All changes will now be saved locally. The event is no longer editable through your online account. If your internet connection should break down during the race, you are safe. Set up the decoder and antenna, start the timing mode on the decoder by pressing the green start button, connect the system in Race Result 12 by hitting the play button and make sure detections are coming in. You can now start online forwarding. If activated, live results and ranks will be synced to the online event file and published on my.resresult.com. If you have on-site registrations, you can add another computer to your network and use the IP address of the timing laptop in the browser to access the event file. Your timing system is set up and turned on, the time is set, you've already tested the connection to ResResult 12 and now your race is about to start. We capture the exact start time as the gun goes. With the start time we've captured, we can now update the official start time and the software starts working its magic. As soon as the first athletes cross the finish line, you should be able to see their result in your output lists and it should also be online available. Now sit back and monitor your data until the last participant has finished. Once the race is over and you've handed out your awards, you can now check in the event file, which means re-uploading it to our server. At the end of the day, disassemble the system and send it back to us. Hopefully, you enjoyed timing your first event with Race Result. If you want to learn more about our equipment or see our equipment being used at some cool events, subscribe our YouTube channel. Happy timing and thanks for watching.